Hi everyone, welcome to In the Garden. It's been a while since uh, we've had one of these episodes and I wanted to give you an update, especially as fall is uh, here and winter is approaching and the garden is in, uh, has been in transition for some time. I apologize about the shaky video, uh, but here you can see some of the plants you saw earlier, some spinach and lettuce and there was some kale. This is some rainbow Swiss chard. Here we've really enjoyed our greens and salad. This is Brussels sprouts that we are hoping to be able to eat uh, around Thanksgiving. Uh, and here's some mustard greens. I've already cut them uh, one time and they're beginning to put out again. There's my cabbage. There's about uh, between 15 and 20 cabbage heads there along with our peas that took a beating yesterday in the wind, and here are our leeks and our onions that are growing. Uh, this weekend is also uh, Halloween, uh, and then on Sunday it's All Saints Day. Uh, most of us in our churches celebrate All Saints Sunday, but this year All Saints uh, Day falls on a Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday, November the 1st. All Saints is kind of almost like a uh, an autumn Easter. Uh, you know, at Easter in the spring, uh, the daffodils are up and blooming. <clears throat> it's sunny and bright and things are pretty. And now in the fall, it's harvest time. In fact, in lots of instances, it's past harvest time and things appear to be dying. Uh, and of course, in our faith journey, uh, we look at All Saints Day as a way of remembering those loved ones who've gone ahead of us and are now celebrating in the church triumphant and as St. Paul talks about uh, in Hebrews, they are that great cloud of witnesses that are like God's cheerleaders cheering us on. But that's the whole process of, of endings, uh, of harvest, of death, uh, of transition, those are difficult things for us to deal with. They're very emotional uh, because as human beings, we have a tendency to become attached to things. But that's the problem because here in nature, the world we live in, things have a lifespan and eventually they die. Even the leaves on the trees uh, fall off at the end of the season and the fields after harvesting lay bare over the winter months. Susan hates this time of year whenever the plants are dying or are going to die. Uh, we're supposed to have a frost next weekend and uh, if that happens these pots that she's had out all summer will no longer look pretty again. Uh, and. Uh, it, she gets sad every time of the year. So uh, I told her that I would take care of the problem for her because I will use the, these plants as uh, I'll put them in my compost pit. And I, I reassured her that come spring, uh, they're actually gonna produce life again as, as they rot and decay and as they go away. Uh, yes, it is sad. It's hard to watch. It's uh, it's hard to watch our loved ones when their life ends as well. But God always has something new in store for us in his kingdom. So uh, God's got something new in mind for us. And I thought I would have something new in mind for Susan as well. So I've gone out and bought some plants and I'm going to, fill up uh, about five of her pots with some plants that she can have and enjoy over the winter. They will be the same as the one she had this summer, but they will remind her occasionally of new life. I've got some pansies and uh, also some ornamental cabbages. Uh, you may have noticed there I put some uh, uh, blood meal into the potting soil. This is mainly potting soil and I also added some organic fertilizer. And uh, so I'm gonna put uh, three ornamental cabbages 
uh, with a green one in the middle and two purple ones on the side, and then some purple and yellow pansies. Uh, and I think it'll look really pretty. Uh, and hopefully we'll remind Susan of this cycle of life, that it's from death that springs forth new life. Because the real surprise, and this is something I've discovered as I've been putting these videos together this year, particularly the ones I really enjoy doing are called In the Garden. Well, guess what? I've discovered that we're all a part of God's garden. In the Garden doesn't have anything at all to do about my garden, but it's got about, it's, it's all about living life in God's garden, where there is constantly uh, attention given to us from God, uh, and even when it appears that there is death, there is new life that abounds around us. And that's the good news of All Saints Sunday. So, what do you think? I think they look pretty good, and uh, I've got a feeling Susan will like them too. I hope you like these videos. Uh, please let us know. Uh, click on the button there where the picture of the church is to subscribe. And how about telling your friends and neighbors? We'd love to have you watch and join us at Holy Communion Lutheran Church.